This is the CBSSports.com NASCAR Report. Carl Edwards kept the heat on Spring Cup Series point leader Kyle Busch Sunday afternoon at the Michigan International Speedway, taking the checkered flag into 3M Performance 400, his fifth win of the season. Although Busch has the number one seed in the chase locked up, Edwards closed the gap in the seedings by scoring his second career cup win at MIS and sweeping the weekend after also winning Saturday's Nationwide Series race. Well, it means a lot to me. This is, you know, four years ago today I ran my first cup race for Jack Roush and uh, he took a giant gamble on me. I, I felt like at the time uh, to put me in that car and Jack won the race that day. I believe Greg won it and, um, and we finished 10th and all, all five of the cars were in the top 10. And to, to be a part of that again today, you know, for Ford Motor Company, for Roush and, and, uh, and for all the guys, uh, it's, it's an honor. Bush followed Edwards across the finish line after a two-lap dash to the checkered flag was set up when Denny Hamlin blew an engine late in the race. David Reagan finished third to score his best career Spring Cup finish and move within 26 points of the final chase transfer spot. Uh, the bottom line is everything's easier the second time around coming back to Michigan for the second race this year and also for, uh, for the second time around. We know how the track changes. You know, I know how to pass cars a little better and just um, you know, know what I need in our AAA Ford to, uh, to be able to, to turn through the middle and have a good bite off. So just uh, the bottom line is everything's easier for a second time around. Greg Biffle and Matt Kenseth rounded out the top five to give Roush Fenway Racing four drivers in Sunday's first five finishing positions. It was a tough day for a group of drivers who fell in the Spring Cup standings, including Jeff Gordon, who hit the wall and finished 42nd, Casey Kane, who blew an engine and finished 40th, and Hamlin, whose blown engine handed him a 39th place finish and drops him to the 12th and final chase transfer spot with only three races to go before the cutoff as the series heads to Bristol Motor Speedway this Saturday night for the Sharpie 500. Reporting from the Michigan International Speedway for the CBSSports.com NASCAR Report, this is Pete Pistone.